In this video, I'll be going over cracking WPA2 networks. In this tutorial, I will be using Kali Linux, a distribution of Linux built for pen testing. It comes with over 300 pen testing tools and everything you need to follow along with this video. WPA2 is a security protocol used for wireless networks. Now, although it currently is the safest option out there to secure your network, you'd be surprised how easily it is to crack it if it relies on a weak password. To crack WPA2, we will be using Aircrack NG. This is a software suite of 16 tools. However, in this video, we will only be using the first four. Once you have Kali Linux up and running, open up your terminal. Now bring up your interface configuration. As you can see here, we have our Ethernet, local loopback, and our wireless card, which, if you only have one, will most likely be called WLAN 0. Great! Now we have to put our interface in monitor mode. Usually, we only receive packets that are sent to our local IP address, but by putting our interface on monitor mode, we can pick up all traffic on our network. Our first tool from AircrackNG is Airmon. Type in AirmonNG and start it on WLAN 0. We get a notification that there are three processes that could get in our way. You can get more information by typing AirmonNG check. This isn't a problem and can easily be fixed by entering AirmonNG check kill. This will kill all conflicting processes. If we check again, we will see that now the issues are all resolved. Checking your interface config again, WLAN 0 will now have been placed on monitor mode. The next tool is AeroDump. Type AeroDump NG and then end with your wireless interface that you just placed on monitor mode. What you see here is the list of all the access points around me. Press Ctrl C to stop the process. This right here is our target network called router. On the left is the router's BSSID. This is the channel it's on. Most networks these days use WPA2 encryption. To simplify things, we're going to isolate the capture to just the networks on channel 6, which can be done by entering TACC. Mm. Now, in order to crack WPA2 networks, we need to be in proximity to both the network and the client connected to it. If there are no connected clients, you'll have to leave AeroDump running until somebody jumps on the network. Below is a list of clients in proximity to our monitor interface. The closer you are, the easier it will be. Find a client that shares the BSSID of your target network. Here it is, the fifth from the bottom. Make note of the client's MAC address in the station column, and the BSSID of the router you want to crack. After you have all your information, we'll start saving the capture to a file on our computer. Our goal is to capture a client connecting to the network, also known as a four-way handshake. We will need a four-way handshake to crack the password. To start capturing traffic, type AeroDump NG TAC W to write to a file. Then what you would like to name the file. TAC C for channel 6, and then enter the BSSID address of the router, and then your interface. This will isolate the capture to just the one network. Once you pick up a client, open up a new terminal and type in our third tool, Air Replay. This is a packet injector. We want to use the deauthentication attack, and it will be the first one, so just type in TAC0. In this case, we will send three attacks. This amount is optional. Now TAC A to enter in the BSSID address, and TAC C to enter in the client's MAC. Now finish off with your wireless interface and hit enter. This should disconnect the client from the network and force them to reconnect. And once they do, we'll have captured a handshake. Stop AeroDump and now list the files in your home directory. Our handshake is in router1.cap. Now we need to use our last program, AirCrack, to run our capture file against a long list of passwords called a word list or a dictionary. If we concatenate the one here called custom WPA, you can see that's just a very big list of possible passwords. These can range anywhere in size and can be dozens of gigabytes large. 
You can make your own by using a program such as Crunch. There are also lots available on BitTorrent sites containing larger lists of the most common passwords. Once you have your word list file saved, type in aircrackng, then your capture file, and tac w for your word list. Aircrack will now run your word list against the 4-way handshake until it comes across with the correct password. This will only work if the password is in the list, so the larger your word list, the better the chance you have of cracking the password. And there's the password. Now, depending on your computer specs and the size of your word list, this can take any time from minutes to weeks. However, there are quicker options, such as using Pirate, which can use your GPU to pre-compute pairwise master keys, or PMKs, for each password in your word list beforehand. These are called rainbow tables, and this is a much faster option than the process I just showed you. Thanks for watching, and until next time.